similarities in terms of the playstyle nitong si Oh My Venus and si D7. Dahil kung di mo matatanong, nagdidigi din si D7. nag e din si D7. So ngayon, karamihan kasi ng mga nakakalaban nila is more on those tank jung uh, tank uh, roamers na pang setup sustain, talaga. Oo, set up, sustain Pero lahat. ngayon, kung sustain yung pag-uusapan, Oh my Venus ang iyong kalaban, papano magda-draft ang Burn X Flash ngayon? Pinag-uusapan pa lang natin ang possibilities, may ba na pala kaagad ang Burn X Flash. Sinabi mo na Sona, Estes, wow. Digi, Faramis. Agad-agad. And on to the other side for uh, Team uh, Pilipinas, we have the 1-1, we have the Lancelot and uh, the Franco also respecting Shima for this one and their Roamer. So this, for the side of Blacklist, uh, for the for Burn X Flash, tatlo ang target nila dito, which is Oh My Venus. Interesting. Kasi ito na aitana natin to time and time again. Diba? Yung Estes, Digi, and Paramis. Diba? Okay. Pero ngayon, Haka Queen ang ginawa ng Burn X Flash. Kalat yung draft na nanggaling sa side ng Blacklist International. Kumbaga, naglagay lang sila ng isang bola sa isang basket eh. Okay. Oh, diba? Tatlong basket yan. Nilagyan lang nila ng uh, flat. Pero ngayon nakikita natin Novaria and Valentina. Sagot na agad lahat ng magic damage. There's still a possibility for this to be flexed. Pero ngayon nakikita natin since Novaria baka may chance Baka may pagkakataon na makita na naman natin yung Valentina jungle ni Wise kasi may Novaria na sa mid eh. Yes! Nakita natin yung Valentina ni Wise back in Season 10 on the playoffs of MPL Philippines. Now, we have the Joy and we have the Eve. Nakita kita doon. Ano meron ba? Nilabanan nila yun, men. As in, kung titignan mo asin ang mabuti, ang isa sa mga kahinaan ng isang Novaria once na uubos na kagad yung astral projection niya is yung kanyang mobility. Kahit na meron siyang sobrang sandamakmak na range, kung hindi siya makakatakbo, mahihirapan talaga siya na makapag-execute. And what better way para maunahan ka sa takbuhan, si Joy na ang sagot dyan. So that is the reason why they drafted it. Pero again, if someone needs to make the extra play, to make the legendary play, it's Edward. Set up heroes, nasa kanya na ngayon with that Arlot, with that final slash. Three picks for both of the teams. Secure now. Agent Zero or Legend Zero has the weapon. Ima comfort pick ng Blacklist. We have the Arlot manning out Natalia. Okay. Interesting, no? Oh, nag nagamit ane kasi nila to dati. Nagamit na Natalia. I am expecting also yung pwede nilo mabas yung Leslie ulit sa side ng Burnex Flash. Oh my. You 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 mentioned kanina that that wave or gave so much vision. I'm wondering na pa kayo nawa sa lasukot ng Blacklist National in case kuring nila ulit yon ng Cambodia. I'm thinking about the rest of the marksman available pa dito eh. Kasi meron pa namang Beatrix, meron pang Claude, yeah. meron ka pang Kari. So at this point, meron pa rin mga heroes dito that Owl can use very, very well. And going up against this lineup, medyo mahirap pumili dito ng isang marksman because or because you have the joy na kayang makapag-access sa backlines. And you also have that Eve to go with that real-world manipulation. So, you need a jungler or you need a marksman that is gonna be very good. Kung kaya naman Claude yung pinili nila. Kasi madali lang makakapasok. Madali lang din makakalabas. Yung BMI, yes. Right? The joy is the problem ngayon na uh, pwede solusyonan ng Blacklist International. What could be the better answer for this? If you were a marksman, kailangan secure yung backline. Could be the options of the Brody. Oh, parang, parang the Brody lagi. for Blacklist, for Owl. Uh, we, we, we still have one more way to, to think about the options of Owl na pwede pa rin lumabas. Okay, something na pwede madepensa rin yung sarili niya dito. Still have that second skill coming in from that Brody. It's not going to be Moscow? a very good choice as well. Pwede Moscow ba? Pero ito, Hindi. same option sila. They, okay. they wanted to go for the Beatrix right away. Kasi, Nubea combo! Ay! Paano, ko nakalimu Paano natin nakalimutan yun? Oh, Ginamit no. na nila to dati. The Nubea combo. Ginamit na nila to the Nubea combo. Yung nagwawala kami ni Rainmar dito, men. Yung may, akala mo may snipe na. Akala mo tapos na yung sniper. Meron pa palang isa. May one and two. Gano'n ba ka-deadly yung combo na to na kailangan solusyon ng Burnex Blast ngayon? The one-two punch, men. The, ano... The Doraemon and Suneo Dobita combo Ito na yun Legit na itong moment na ito men Dalawa Dalawang long range Dalawang very You know Hurtful heroes Pagdating ng mid to the late game Pero kung tinitignan din natin Ang mabuti Ang kailangan ng Blacklist International Is a little bit Of 
tatawagin natin na extra durability at dyan naman papasok yung Akai ngayon. Okay, a good choice also for Wise with the Akai. So, hindi mo na Valentina Jungler. So, does this mean no barrier room? Does this <laughs> mean na no. since binan nyo yung, yung Minotaur, yung baka ng Reyna, sabi niya, sige, ang ibaban nyo ang aking Minotaur. No Baka fun. sakali naman na ito na, pero you have to also watch out para sa smart power prediction. prediction. At some point in the game, a poll will show up. You only have until the timer runs out to comment your prediction with the hashtag SmartPowersMSC2023. One lucky commenter per match who guesses correctly will win a redeemable in-game code. Remember, keep an eye on the poll. And keep an eye out for this game. Kasi ito na yun eh. Wait, kinuha yung Brody and Lolita in the final two picks. May Valentina ngayon ang kupunan ng Blacklist International. It could probably go to UA, pero na-shift kasi. Biglang nag-U-turn nung pumili sila ng Akai. Ano ba yung magiging choice dito? Ano yung magiging hero? Pasok na tayo ngayon, men! Alamin na natin. Ito, Blacklist International is pulling something new with their own way. Wise! Totoo nga! Tama nga! We have a Rome Novaria! Pero, fundamentally, in-game, at a Rome Novaria... I'm still not sure kung paano ito mag-work early game. I mean, Novaria early game is something that is gonna be very critical kasi it's a 50-50 chance. Wala pang gaanong damage si Oh My Venus dito. But given na it's gonna be a Rome Novaria, malamang sa malamang ay build up siya ng kanyang mga tank items. So the damage will not matter as oh. is. Pero ngayon, nakikita natin, Wise is gonna be able to secure those orange and purple buffs. And yung Oh My Venus kasi once na may Astral Echo na siya, once na ma-unlock niya na yung skill 4, mas magiging madali yung teamfight para sa Blacklist International kasi makikita niya yung kalaban from a mile away. Well, speaking of being miles away, si D7 with his hands na nasa Lolita na may flicker. Ito yung nagiging problema din na pwede nilang iwasan for the setups. Okay. Two boots on to Sikat and Shimasa. So now, mas magdo-double time sila sa ikot. But meanwhile, Legends here up top. Nabawasan ng malupit dun si ATM Pero si Wise Dila Pwedeng pa Pwedeng makorner dito Dila pa pa-uwi Up, up, up Ayaw, ano Ay. na ayaw, ayaw na nila Pinapag-cash out na nila yung ATM man. Pero tinama dito Napapalaban si Yue Using that flicker To be able to get away From that situation So nakikita natin ngayon Yung mga rotations Na ginagawa ng parehas sa team Blacklist International tra Trying to put pressure Dito kay ATM Kasi alam nila Na yun yung magbibigay Ng problema sa kanila Ng early game Dito naman sa kabila yeah. They're putting the pressure On Yue sa may mid lane Nang sa ganun Bago pa mag-spawn Itong turtle In like the first two minutes Ay magamit niya na yung flicker niya At mahirapan silang Makapag-engage against Burn Ito yung mga chapter 2 Do's and don'ts oh. Ito, Shima, pwede Ipit, ah, ito na. Shima actually goes down and in first blood goes to the Philippines. Blacklist International, this is looking like it's gonna be a free turtle unless ATM at si D7 ang magawin dito. Final slash hindi tatama. Pero mga kalaban kaya sila. And there goes your astral protection and the retribution para kay Wise. The Wise King gets the first turtle of the game. I understand now bakit Blacklist ang binibigan nilang pressure ay ang joy sa taas. This is the problem na pwede nilang makita mid-game. Palang, the backline, D7 with the flicker plus meron pang ultimate combo. Ano nga ba makuha nila dito? May trade pa magaganap so na kasi yung naging problema yun ausog kasi D7 na naman ang napaku sa daan astral projection na naman ang ibinigay kay Sikat na dumaan this time around Blacklist International gets another one biting the dust and burn yun yung mahirap dito ah once you commit that ultimate with that Lolita the flicker and Numinon blast in a really dangerous point ng turret ng Blacklist International that's the one thing that they can punish early game na nag-iipon pa sa kung kailan nag-iipon silang lakas dapat dun ka muna pwede umiwas sobrang naging clutch nung extra dash na ginawa ni Yue dun kasi nakalabas siya dun sa real world manipulation na nanggaling kay Sikat if hindi siya nakalabas dun it might have been the first kill na napunta sa side ng Burnex Clash but this time Blacklist International are doing the best moves possible they're making sure na yung mga nagiging engages nila ay yung mga moments na mananalo sila hindi nila pinoforce yung mga team fight na kung saan ay medyo magiging 50-50 yung sitwasyon. Yep. So they're trying to burst down one hero at a time. Nang sa ganun ay mahirapan ng burn next flash kasi engine na naman. No? Edward na release na rin yung electrifying Ooh. beats and the final slash as well. Vengeance. Stickers and don Edward naghabol oh. pero ATM caught on low health. Pero wala naman sa choice. Kailangan niyang umuwi. I love it. I love the energy exchange ng mga TPs. Ganun nagpapa-amp ng energy yun eh. Yun yun eh. Of D7. Have you seen mga may ipis si Gedli? Kaso malubot na si Dalaway nakuha! And there you go! 
You see the happiness coming in from the king of the jungle. Set up into the two members of Burn. Donut in D7 goes down. The double D is real. And Blacklist International. Ito na ang pagkakataon dahil ito rin ang unang pagkakataon. Trailing the stars. Oh my Venus. The first time na pinik yung Novara in the Rome position. Tinatanong namin ng mga sarili namin kung paano gagana ito. Well, yes. Combo of Nobea is real talaga. Lapag ng Astral. Well, ultimate. Lahat pwede nang tumama sa kanilang hitboxes. Speaking of tumama, si Shimati na maana naman ng bala na nanggaling kay Yumei Tatloy! Oh! Coming in with the Numino Blast as well. ATM na palaban na lang. Oh, Kasi no. si Edward dito medyo low ang health. ATM tries to go for it. Pero si D7 yata ang kanilang hahabulin. Wise not letting up. They use the Electrifying Beast. Pero the heavy spin. Flicker gamit ni D7. Pero makakatakas kaya siya. Naipit na naman at nahampas ng Dragon Warrior. Wise lands in for the kill. 0-6 going to the side of Blacklist International. Haba nangyari mga ganong engagement. Aray. Donut Aray ka high vengeance oh. in. Mga iiwasan ba hindi? Sabi ni Yui, akin ka na. Pag tumingin ka, akin, akin ka. ka. Yan ang nangyari sa pagkakataon na yun. Si Edward, winalis ang kalaban. Winning shield wiper. Para daw matanggal yung ulan. Para daw matanggal yung ambon at andun. Luminaw. Oh my gosh. Blacklist International on the lead. 4.4k. Pinaka mayaman lang iba, kundi si Owl. Now building up the damage. Now collecting everything for this Novaria efficiency onto the Rome roll. Ay nagiging problema sa Burn X Flash. Kung titin natin ng lead ngayon ng junglers, two level gap from Shima against Wise. Ah, that's very difficult. Kasi ngayon nakikita natin na nai-enable na din si Wise to go for those extra plays, extra setups. And ito yung kahalagahan every time na you have a setup hero as your tank jungler. Meron kang options to make the highlight play. Pwede kang gumawa ng plays para sa iyong mga kakampi. Hindi ka lang magiging clean up. Ikaw pa yung magsisimula ng laban. So that is what Wise is doing right now. 3-0 and 3 yung kanya nagiging KDA which also resulted into 7 kills going into the side of Blacklist International. National, but the move is gonna be here up top. Hindi masyadong nabibigyan dito si Owl but also because of the fact that most of the agents, most of the code breakers are making plays sa bandang gitna at bandang ibaba ng mapa. Oh, this is the pressure. Kung titinan natin mamaya ang mismong heat map ng Blacklist, it's all about covering the EXP. Mer meron ng swap na naganap from Golden Donut now in sa taas. May naipit nga. Oh, heavy Shima. spin na naman. Si Shima na naman na sumalo ng mga Jabong Beats na nanggaling kay Owl. But here comes the Numino Blast as well. Si Wise ang tinamaan. Si ATM nandun sa may bandang likuran. Who's gonna be able to get this turtle at the reward manipulation is also right there. D7 na pala pa rin. Wow. Pero who's gonna get it? It's the Brody na nanggaling dito kay Donut making it happen. And that is gonna be the first turtle para sa side ng Burn. They're gonna take every win that they can get with no casualties as well. It was the go time of Donut na alam niyang nagamit na ang retry ni Wise. On cooldown, malayo, malapit man ang blacklist doon but the advantage here was the damage. Nagkulang man doon sa, sa mismong pag-question ng Burn X Flash but their mindset was just to get that turtle para makosa ng ekonomiya. Mm, and now, the same move din ah. Yung speaking of economy, they want to boost on their momentum na ginagawa nila ngayon. So one thing that they did after the transition doon sa may turtle, nagpunta ka agad sila doon sa bandang itaas para i-pressure na naman itong si Owl. Pero final slash na gamit na ni Edward para sa XP lane matchup. Ang daming dash na nangyayari. <laughs> Ang daming mga parang nagpapatintero lang silang dalawa dito sa may bandang XP lane eh. That But it's all good. <sighs> Kung pag-uusapan natin ang EXP lane, we're looking for the uh, the comeback potential ng Burn X Flash because right now, they're really answering a lot of oh, team fights. Oh. Aray, Astral Recall. Wait, hindi ata wala ata maabutan yun. Oh, very <laughs> Tapo na yun. Pero, oh my, Venus getting the vision, getting those perfect hits. Napipil off nila ang kalaban one by one. Oh, okay, pwede may sikat na. Ito na nga. No heavy spin oh. available, pero mong hahabulin na to. There goes your real world as well. Edward and Wise both taking damage, pero mga katakas naman sila sa pagkaataw na yun. Wala pang babagsak na tore, but as I say that, ang pinakaunang tore na babagsak sa larong ito ay napasakamay ng side ng Burn X Flash. Yun na, natapon na naman yung juice. Pero ito na naman si Shima, napalaban na naman na si Donut ang nakita, but it doesn't hurt as much. 
na nanggaling dito kay Owl. Safe zone though, dahil naka nakikita natin ngayon na lumalamang ang Blacklist International in terms of the goal, pero kailangan nila makabasag ng Tore. They're gonna be trying to force this one out, pero tatlo yung members ng Burn Explosion na nandito. Will they be able to burn it down? Ando na naman si ATM, naging aggressive. Yue goes down as well, galing dito sa torn apart memory na naibigay nitong si Donut. That's gonna be the first kill na napunta sa side ng Burn Explosion. Pero ito naman sa madal likuran naman. D7, napalaban na lang, pero hindi siya makaset up. Makakuha kaya sila ng kill dito. D7, no longer stays alive. Si ATM nandito sa madal likuran. Nandito naman si Edward trying to go for it once again, pero yung real world manipulation will not be able to hit anyone, hit anyone as the Astro Projections is gonna be there. D7 and ATM goes down. They still can defend, but Sika takes the brunt of the damage and uses Flicker to get away. Pero nandun pala, lumalaban pa yung Lord. Ang daming nangyayari. Shima, Why is taking this all the way? No! Shima! It's Shima! It's gonna be able to get it. Castle si Eve going down as well. Si Uwe na palaban na lang! Hindi pa tapos na lang. Shima! Shima Oy. running away from the fight. Tinamaan din ang Astro Projections. But still, in the middle of all of those team fights, it was Burnex Flash getting the Lord. Akala mo, hihinga ka na. Akala mo, may kikita, may kita pa natin ang anong possibility na pwede may pick up na isa. Wala pala. Tuloy-tuloy. Non-stop. Yui, pwede maipin dito. Oh, na cancel! Na cancel! Miss Minuman ng Blast! Na cancel yung Terrify! Pero dito susubok sanang iligtas si Yui. Pero hindi naging sapat as the torn apart memory donut. The Pinoy factor, the Pinoy effect is coming into fruition. Landing three. Out of the four kills that are coming here on the side of Burnex Splash, and he's making a statement, saying that even if I'm a Pinoy, I'm still representing my Cambodian fans, and he wants to take this all the way. Wow, Cambodia, slowly as that, dahan dahan, bumabawing ay ng Burnex Splash. Tuloy tuloy pa na action. So na si Mapa din na ipit nga. You it takes the kill. They're trading it for one kill at merong push dito sa baba. So now Blacklist is seeing to have a comeback here. Kung paano nila masisila mga wave clears para maka-push sa Burn X Flash. Kailangan nilang puruhan ang Blacklist International. Unti-unting bumababa ang kalamangan. Oh. Three turrets apiece para sa parehas na teams. You also have the Lord going into the side of Burn. Pero si Oh My Venus nakikita natin na unti-unti niyang binaburn ang Burn as the rest of Burn X Flash ay nandun na pa-retreat na lamang 80 seconds bago lumabas ang ating Turtle or Lord rather. Pero nakikita mo ah, hindi nag-tank build itong si Oh My Venus. Lahat ng kanilang defensive items ay nakaasa lamang kay Edward at kay Wise. So they're going full on magic damage Valentina and Novaria combo ang kailangan nilang pagtuunan ng pansin. So, ATM yeah, yeah. needs to step up here kung sakali na gusto makabawi ng burn. Uh, we were expecting more of a defensive Novaria pero mas aggressive ang nakita natin kay Oh My Venus now. Ito yung literal na see the world gamit ang ultimate niya. Oh. May kita mo lahat. Uy, buka may ipit, flicker out. Oh My Venus pa ATM. Nako, mukhang nag-withdraw na isang kill laban sa Blacklist and, International. And here goes your heavy spin as well. Nandun din yung Numen ng Blast pero tatama. Hindi pala. Si Yui na naman ang nakita sa may bandang itaas and there you go only one casualty going into the side of Blackness International ginagamit ng Burnex Splash yung mga setups na meron sila yung relentless pressure my hindi gosh. nila pinapahinga yung side ng Blackness International every time yung skills nila ay nagamit na oh my goodness Burnex Splash if we could only see and hear the crowd right now on to our event maingat at mainit ang laban na to nabawi na ulit we're, we're tying with the gold We're at we're at we were advanced 5k gold lead and we're down to 1.5. Filipinas now is really looking for a way to end this, but there's still more defenses left to take down. Apero this Lord would really matter. Usino magawa nito. This is very very close. D7, nandito na ngayon naghahanap ng kanyang posibleng set upan. Pero since nangita na siya nung those that angle will no longer be used. He still stayed in that position though. Lord, nakuha na ngayon at 50%. D7, oh. nagpakita na ng kanyang sarili together with that oh. shield. Pero si ATM nandito na nag-target na naman. Owl. Coming into Owl. Owl and now goes down. Oh my, Venus goes down as well. Pero yung focus ay nandito naman sa Lord. Si Yuen nandun sa may badalikuran. Wise tries to go for it once again. Pero sino makakuha ng Lord? Lord. It Wise. goes to Blackness International. Kasi naging problema na nandyan. Yung iba sa mga members ng Burn. Wise tries to fight for his life. Pero walang laban sa lima. It's Yuen. And the Lord all alone as Burn X Splash 
14 seconds, 13 seconds bago mabuhay si Nayue or bago mabuhay si Owl at si Omay oh Venus, can he defend with his life? Kaya bang buhay ni Yue ang blacklist sa game number one? Lumalakad ng patatag ang side ng Burnex Splash pero lalaban Kaya ba? Kaya depensang mas matatag ang blacklist international as they buy some Tatlo. time and waited for it. Once again, Donut goes down yan ang counter punch. Counter attack na nagaling sa blacklist and they're still staying alive. The code is utilizing the overstay ng Burnex Flash do doon sa last turret doon sa gitna. But now they're trying on for a chase in pursuit. Oh my Venus, gusto makuha na isa. Chimao, pwede masungkit dito. Pero now nag-recall na rin. Nakansa recall ni D7. Pwedeng, pwedeng dumiretso ang blacklist sa ATM Ay, here. Nagamit na yung beats. Oh, Nagamit na yung tuk-suks. No. Si ATM na naman oh, na makikita in there. Masakit talaga ano ba yung combo kasi si Aulay na nanakitin. Seacat versus Yue. Real world. Laban sa... Hindi real world kasi kopya lang yun. Pero ang mahalaga naman dito ay nakakapag-push ang side ng Blacklist International. They're trying to make it one at a time on Sealed Leia nandiyan din. Final slash na gamit ni Edward para paghiwalayin. Si Shima and D7 sa laban na ito tayo yun. Binato na naman ng planeta ni Oh My Vino si Shima. But even so, it's still a very, very close fight. The only disadvantage para sa Blacklist International is nabutas na yung mandang gitna. May super minions na na kailangan alalahanin ng agents. Kailangan natin huminga. Game number one pa lang to. Ibang klaseng Sabado ang aming natutunghayan ngayon. To seal the deal of history, kailangan mo pa lang daanan pa ang Cambodia. Iba. Ibang klaseng Burn X Flash ang nakikita natin ngayon dito. They're going up against our very own team. At dito natin nakikita kung paano nila nakikita in that fight. On that retry na nakuha ni Wise dun sa Lord, na-isolate nila mismo si Oh My Venus and Al. They know the targets. They know what can break the defenses of Blacklist International at ayun na kailangan nating iwasan. Tol, tinawag silang hometown heroes for a reason. <sighs> Sila ang kaisa-isang representative ng Cambodia. Ngayon na nalagay ang MSC sa Cambodia, gusto nilang ilagay ang kanilang sarili in the best possible scenario. They've achieved their best international achievement yet by securing top Four. Pero hindi or ayaw nilang tumigil sa top 4 lang. Nakita natin dun sa video kanina na gusto nilang i-manifest na makarating sila sa finals but going up against Blacklist International na gusto ding makamit yung legacy na gusto nilang makita. What is this gonna be? Sino yung mas gutom? Sino yung mas gustong makakuha ng laban na to? Isipin mo, game 1 pa lang pero parang game 5 na yung mentality ng mga teams na to. One game at a time. Kung ganito yung mentality ng pap na na pap napapunta ka sa Grand Finals. Ano na lang bukas? Ano? <laughs> ano Hihinga na lang bukas? pa ba tayo or kailangan na natin ng extra? <laughs> apat na dapat yung magkakas. Oo, oh, parang kailangan <laughs> apat na yung magkakas. Pero Twice. Twice. na naman na nakita. Retribution. Hindi pa magagamit. Yung dash lang ang magagamit din. Pero si ATM, ATM. na naman medyo nang hihilang magbuhay dito o doon. Yung final slash as well. Nagamit na ng mga skills Uy. sa Black Ocean Trash. Pero si Owl actually went down as well. Edward using her popping off his immortality. Pero si Wise na naman ba makakuha? The answer is yes! He gets the Lord. Pero ang kabalit doon ay tatlo buhay para sa side ng Blacklist International. It's just you way. And oh my Venus na nandito kontra sa lima na ngayon ay nagpo-push na dito sa may bandang gitna. What is gonna be the answer? Can you way oh my Venus Land on to the defense. Merong isang Pero cannon. May Merong may wala pa. palang minions. Kaso yung nagiging problema yung astral projection as well. The Lord nandun sa may bantay pa ba. Nailatag na naman. <laughs> And Yue <laughs> makes sure na pababa yung isa. And doon, napabagsak nila yung apat via two. Making Dalawa it lang yan. Of Blacklist International Partida. Sabi ni V, dalawa lang kami. Pero walang problema. Kung sisikat ka, pues magpapasikat ako ngayon. Derecho. This is the reason why dere-derecho lang ang puon na nanggaling sa side ng Blacklist International na hindi tumitigil. Ito ang pusong kampiyon na ngayon ay ipinapakita na ng side ng Blacklist International. As the swipe, the snipe is there. The turnaround is there as well. And kung sasabihin yung game one pupunta sa burn, pues dyan kayo mag-isip-isip dahil Blacklist ang kukuha ng game number one. Kung akala nyo, tapos na yon Pilipinas well better late than never advance man tandaan nyo advance ang oras natin sa Pilipinas late ng isang oras ang Cambodia hindi pa tapos yung laban dun pa lang nabawi na nung bumabad ang burn X flash yun na ang way para makambak tol hindi ko maintindihan <laughs> kasi 4B to na yun eh yun nga eh 4B to na yun men 
It was just Ando Oh My Venus eh. and Yue. Ando na. Si Oh My Venus at si Yue na lang. Kung may Venus, kung may BYs, may Yue din eh. Yue. Yue, man. Yue. Yun ang literal na see the world. Oh my Venus. <laughs> Hindi na oh my goodness eh. Oh, oh my Venus my na. Venus na po. Ang aming mga sinasabi dito sa Filipino Broadcast. Just when things were about to go down para sa kupunan ng Blacklist International. Kumbaga yung burn na, nag ano na eh, nag ala Daniel Padilla na eh. Nasa kanila na lahat eh. Nasa kanila. Ayan na, sumisigaw na nga siya. Ayan na, diba? yung moment na yun na parang ati na to. Sabi niya, lahat na mismo nasa iyo. Ang ganda, ang talino. Kaso yung naging problema, men. They overstayed their welcome. At si Oh My Venus at si Yuwa lang ang kinailangan para madepensahan. May Lord na nagpo siya baba at hindi pinansin ng Cambodia yon Doon pa lang, Palalo na. <laughs> oh, my Venus. And you, eh. Okay. The, the, the legendary defense of the century. Madami tayo kailangan ni breakdown. Midnight, alam ko kaya ma-explain to. Paano nagawa yan yung oh, my Venus and you, eh? Ikaw na. Well, ganun talaga ang tawag natin dito ay ang Royal Subject. Kung may Royal Duo, may Royal Subject. Grabe yung uh, ginawang defense ng Blacklist International doon sa last Part. Pero ang masabi ko lang, Burnex Slash definitely lumaban sila dito Pero ang pinakanlaban for the side of Blacklist International is none other than the Queen herself Oh my Venus, first Rome Novaria by the way And nakita natin yung impact ni the Queen pagdating ng late game Yung kanya mga astral recall, yung damage output na binabato niya Hindi kaya saluhin basta-basta ng Burnex Slash And ang naging problema dito ng uh, Burnex Slash is again yung range factor na nanggagaling mula sa Astral Recall Pero again, nagkaroon ng money, nagkaroon ng tempo, nagkaroon ng uh, opening yung Burnex Slash Blacklist International, hawak nila yung early game mula sa magagandang place uh, na nanggaling kay Edward And of course yung kanilang control sa mga teamfight Pero may point na medyo nag-init ang kanilang dugo Gusto nila nga lumaban na lumaban talaga To the point na nawawalan sila ng objective kasi nare-retrend sila ni Shima Even though may certain XP gap dahil nga may recovery mechanic ang MLBB na kapag behind ka ng level sa enemy uh, sa enemy jungler ay meron kang mas mataas na XP na nakukuha and kahit, uh, kahit nga level 11 lang si Shima as long as out position din naman yung Blacklist International or kung cool down naman yung Retri mananalo at mananalo ka sa mga objective so pagdating ng mid game yung team point aspect ng Burnex Flash mas malakas kasi dahil nandoon yung damage output ni Donut with the torn apart memory and dito sa part na to napakaganda rin ng bato ni Yue with the Numenon Blast talagang sinay step numinon nu, side step numinon blast niya shout kay Manjin Paldas and yung damage output ng Astral Blast pati na rin ng Astral Recall hindi kinayang saluhin ng Burn X Flash hinihintay sana nila yung minion wave pero dahil sa paghihintay nila na set up sila at digit-digit sila nang nakita doon ng Blacklist International napakagandang defense mula sa kanila ngayon titignan natin yung item build ng Burn X Flash meron naman silang uh, defensive capabilities against Novaria ang dilemma nung tinamaan sila ng Numenon Blast at nagamitan sila ng skill ni Yue na proc na kagad yung mga shields nung uh, Athena Shield. Kaya nung tinamaan sila ng skill ni Oh My Venus talagang isa-isa silang uh, nawala para silang mga uh, langaw na biglang uh, pinagtatampal ng royal, uh, royal staff ng Blacklist International. Again, nagkaroon ng chance eh. Nagkaroon ng momentum yung Burnex Slash. Actually, actually si Donut dito na isahan si uh, Owl dahil nahuli siya na wala rin wind of nature kaya hindi rin siya nakapala nakapalag and ito, ito kasi yung threat ng meron kang Brody kapag may nahuli siyang target napakadali i-burst naman for the side of Burn X Flash and nandun din yung capability nila to re-engage in a teamfight dahil meron silang Numenon Blast and of course nandyan din yung presence ni Seacat with the real world manipulation napakaganda nung kanilang teamfight uh, composition pero ang uh, kinaganda naman sa lineup ng Blacklist International is of course kaya-kaya nakawin ito ni Yue. And yung vision na binibigay ni Oh My Venus with the Astral Echo, kita nila lahat yung position ng Burn X Flash. Even though, again, nakaisa si Donut kanina, natya yung point niya si Owl na wala sa pwesto. Pero at the end of the day, yung team fight uh, factor na yun, hindi nagmatter. Kasi pagdating na late game, yung, uh, yung naging issue nila is yung dalawang support duo uh, mismo ng Blacklist International. Yung insane damage output na nanggagaling sa Novaria Rome, mind you. Novaria Rome na may damage output. Kabahan na sila dahil nakaharap na ng ibang hero si Mamshu. Ang daming binan 
na hero na ni uh, The Queen pero nakakita pa rin sila ng uh, option dito for the side of Black Lace International. Game 1 in favor of the Agents 1-0 na against the hometown heroes. Sige natin kung makakabawi ang Burnix Flash dito sa ating game number 2. Now, Cassius, back to you.